Okay, I have here my LEGO EV3 Mindstorms brick, which I have programmed to be a gravitational wave chirp simulator. So it allows you to input uh, whatever mass black holes you want between the ranges of 0.6 solar masses and 10 solar masses, and then it computes numerically what the gravitational waveform would sound like, and then it uses the EV3 sound capabilities to generate the appropriate sound that goes along with that. So uh, I've already loaded the program on the brick here. So you'll see there it's called Gravitational Wave Chirp. So we'll activate the program by simply pressing the center button. The program runs. What it does is it displays the masses on the screen and then the particularly important combination of masses called the chirp mass. And so if you just press the center button, it will play the appropriate sound associated with this. In this case, it's a 0.6 plus a 0.6 uh, solar mass black hole binary. Uh, if these black holes exist in nature, they are primordial black holes left over from the early universe. I'll play that sound for you and then show how the program works. So the sound is longer for lower masses and shorter for higher masses. And then the chirp, that is the highest ramped up frequency that you hear, also depends on the chirp mass. So lighter uh, chirp masses make higher pitch sounds and heavier chirp masses make lower pitch sounds. So what the program lets you do is it uses the face buttons here to change the masses. So I'm gonna increase the mass here. It goes up in a couple of increments. Uh, so let's go up to about five solar masses. Okay, you can also go down if you overshoot. You can change the masses independently. So let me run this mass up to five solar masses. Okay, and so there you see it's recomputed the chirp mass, so the chirp mass is heavier and the sound should sound proportionately different. It's also much shorter as expected. So there you have it. It's a in-your-pocket little robot to simulate your own gravitational wave sounds. I hope you all have fun with this project. You can find all the instructions and the code on Instructables.